Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Spotlight of the Day. Today we have a library called handwritten.js. So this library helps us in converting text to realistic handwriting. Let me show you an example first. So if you see this example, so this is the text that's been uh, typed. Uh, I mean, the, this, is, this is just text. And this is a text that is converted into re realistic looking handwriting. Like if someone sees this, uh, they'll think that this, this is actually written by someone by hand it's uh, it, it's converted like very nicely it's, it's converted it perfectly like almost it's looking like someone's actually written this handwriting so let's see how to use this uh, library so you can use this library in uh, multiple ways uh, you can use it using the cli you can use it uh, uh, you can use it with uh, in node.js or you can use it in browser as well so today we'll try to use it in node.js and if you talk about use cases there are not many use cases but uh, yeah if you want to uh convert some text to something realistic looking or if you want to if uh, if, if you want to, if you want me to give an example like funny example then uh, let's say you want to fake your homework and uh, you have some content online you can just copy the content and uh, use this library to convert it into realistic looking handwriting and you can submit it so that's just that's just that that's one more use case so yeah so let's dive right in and let's start using this library so I have this, uh, I've just created an empty folder. In this empty folder, let me create a new file called index.js. And let's first install the library. Uh, so all we need to do is just copy this one line and we need to install the library. I'm copying, uh, let me install this library first. I'm installing the library, it shouldn't take much time. Yeah, it's done. So let's start using it. So they have some sample code already. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. We just need to copy this few lines of code and we're good to go. Let me copy this. This is a sample code. For raw text they have hello world. Let me write some uh, like saying that this is my handwriting. It looks so real. Although it's not although not handwritten. So what we are doing is we are importing the library, then we are importing the file system. We are taking some raw text, and we are converting the raw text into a PDF. Let's run this and see what happens. I'm running. Uh, I'm running this file using Node. So Node space the index.js the file name. Let's see uh, whether. So I'm outputting it to something called output.pdf. Yes, it did output output.pdf. Let's see what's in output.pdf. Yep, it did output it as expected. Let me just zoom it to page level. Yeah, so you can see that it says hello world. This is my handwriting. It looks so real, although it's not handwritten. It actually looks like my handwriting actually looks like this. My handwriting is very dirty and it does look like this. So <laughs> it does look like my real handwriting as well. Yeah, so that's how you convert it. Let's let's use it with some long text. Let me copy some long text. Let's try this long text. Let's try to run this. Again, we're outputting it to the same file, output.pdf. There are a few more options in this library. We'll explore those app options as well after this. It's done. Let's check it out. Yep. There you go. So we took some long text and it converted that long text also into handwriting. So let's explore a few more options in the library now. So the library has options like rules. So what rule does this? It adds some lines. In every line, it will add some lines. I'll show you that. Then you can also, so right now we're we are converting it into a PDF. We can also convert it into image if you want. Then uh, we can also change the color of the ink. So by default, it'll be black. We can change it to either blue or red. So they have three options, either black, blue or red. So let's try to use blue and uh, we'll also try to use this rule feature. So let's try that. So we need to pass an options object. So in the options object, I'll pass rule is true. And I'll pass ink color. Ink color is does it in colors dot red they have a, a constant called colors dot 
let's use blue okay so when i type colors it automatically imported from constants but if you don't have any autocomplete you need to manually import the co colors from the constants file and then use it so i'll save this and i'll run this now it should output the pdf in blue color and also with lines so let's see how it outputs yeah it's done let's see the output uh, i did not output it in blue color because is it because it did not refresh it let me check am i missing something dot pdf what did i miss rule true let's try removing this ah okay i gave the options object in the wrong place i should give this options object in the function where we convert it so i gave it in the right stream so that's a wrong place to give it so we should give the options in the handwritten function so i moved the options there now it should work let's see Mm, it's taking some time it should be done in any second yeah it's done let's see how it looks yeah now we can see that it's in blue color and also we have the lines and see the blue color and also has lines this look is, this looks even more realistic than the one without the lines cool so let's see if they have any other features yeah not many features i i wish they had few more features like uh, in, uh like uh controlling the size of the font controlling the font size they don't have those options but yeah uh, i wish they had given more options i'll try to explore the source code of this library and see if i can customize it to add more options but yeah so far uh, there are only few options and so far so good but it would be it would have been better much better if there were more options so this is it guys so th this is how you convert text into realistic looking handwriting and i hope you liked it and if you liked it do leave a like and subscribe and uh, i'll see you tomorrow again with another library uh, in the spotlight of the day series see you guys Bye bye